Hey everyone, how's it going? Today I will give you a short tutorial that adds on to our 2D line draw tutorial that we did a while back. In this lesson we will show you how to create an ink meter that will display how much more line you can draw. We will also make it so that once you run out of ink, you will not be able to draw any more line. So let me first show you what we'll end up with by the end of this video. Now we already had the draw mechanic working and we made it so that you could have a ball roll down the line. The new features I have added are this ink meter that you can see decreases as I draw the line. And then the condition where when I run out of ink, I can no longer draw any more line. So to get started, let's open up our draw line script. And in this script, we need to create four new variables. The first variable is going to be a singleton of this script. So I have a public static draw line variable, which I've called instance. And we're setting this variable to the keyword this in the start function. The next variable is a float called line length. And here I've created a private variable and a public getter for this variable. The second variable will also be a float called max line length. And we'll also create a public getter for this variable but I'm also going to make the private variable serialized. And then the last variable will be a private int called current point. Now let's jump down to the update function. In here we want to add an if condition around everything in this function. And the if statement will check to see if the line length variable is less than the max line length variable. This will make it so that once we've drawn to the max length, we will no longer be able to draw any more. Now let's go down to the create line function. And in here we need to add one line of code down at the bottom of this function where we're setting current point equal to 2. Now let's jump down to the update line function. And in here we just want to add one line at the end of this function which will be line length plus equals vector two dot distance. And then in parentheses, we want to pass in finger position, which is our array of points. And we're going to get the current point. And then for the second parameter, we want finger position, and we're gonna pass in current point minus one. This will look at the last two points of our line every time a new point is added. It'll then find the two dimensional distance between these two points and it will then add this distance to our line length variable. Once we have all of this, we can then save this script and go back to Unity. Inside Unity, we then need to create the visuals for our ink meter. So here I've created a UI image that has just a square sprite as the image. You then want to set the image type to fill, and then the fill method can be whatever you want to have. But I've selected vertical for mine. Once you have this, we then need to create a new script which I've called line meter. We then want to open the script. Inside the script, we want to add one image variable called meter and access the image class type. We'll need to add the using unity engine.ui namespace. We then need to initialize this variable in the start function. And so I'm setting the meter variable equal to get component and we're looking for an image component. Now in the update function, we need to set the fill amount of our image variable to be the percentage of how much ink we've used. And so I'm calling meter.fillAmount, and I'm setting it equal to one minus parentheses drawline.instance.linelength, and then I'm dividing that by drawline.instance.maxlinelength. Now the cool thing about this line of code is that it's using the length of the line to determine how much ink we've used. This is a much better option than using the amount of time a person's been drawing. Because if it's based on time, then if a person's drawing their line very slowly, they'll end up with a shorter line than if a person draws very fast. But by doing it based on the length of the line, you'll have the same size line every single time. We can then save this script and go back to Unity. And the last thing that we need to do is add this script to our meter image object and then set our variables. Now there's no variables required for this script, but if we go to our game controller object, you'll need to set the max line length variable to determine how long of the line you want to have drawn. Now, if you're creating a game like Happy Glass, you can have different scenes with different lengths of line that you allow the player to draw to make the level easy or more difficult. Now with all of that, we can then test our project once again.
And there you go. That concludes this very short lesson on how to add an ink meter to your draw line mechanic. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, then leave them in the comments below or join our Discord server, which is linked to in the description below. Finally, make sure that you subscribe to our channel so you can be up to date with all our latest videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.